All right, Donny. Great place this, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. What's up? You're not having a good time? Oh, I don't know. I see all these guys talking to women and they make it look so easy, but I just can't seem to meet anyone. Right. Well, why do you think that is? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've got my nice shirt on. I'm wearing my expensive aftershave. I've got my giant bear claws on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the bear claws. What? You don't think they might be the problem? I wouldn't rule them out. <laughs> They're a real conversation starter. Yes, they are. It's just none of the conversations are with you. I think that's why all the other men in here are doing quite well. They're using you as an icebreaker. Really? Yeah, and also, just because they're not wearing a pair of giant bear claws, they look like a relatively good bet. Oh, right, but I thought there'd be a good way to get into my anecdote about how I killed that bear. I'm not sure that's your best anecdote anyway. It's a great anecdote. How much more impressive can you get than killing a grizzly with your bare hands? I think that's a problem as well. When you say, I killed it with my bare hands, <laughs> and you're wearing those, it's, it, it's ambiguous. Pe- people might think you killed it with those claws, which, which sort of makes it less impressive, because you having claws makes it less fair on the bear. Less fair on the bear? It was a 500-pound grizzly. An unconscious 500-pound grizzly. It could have woken at any time. Any time after the anaesthetic dart wore off. You know, the anaesthetic dart that the zookeeper used to sedate it after you tripped and fell into the enclosure because you were concentrating on your ice cream at the zoo. But those are minor (laughs) details. I mean, the fact remains, I killed a bear with my unadorned human hands. And the rock you used to cave its skull in. I used my hands to lift the rock. Yeah, still, I, I think there's a danger that if you ever do tell the anecdote, some women might actually take the bear's side. They take a wild bear's side against mine? A, a vulnerable, peacefully sleeping wild bear above a rock-wielding bear murderer. <laughs> yes. God, what is it with women today? How are we supposed to know what they want? I think what they want is a man who knows his own mind, but at the same time is sensitive enough not to smash in the skull of an innocently snoozing animal, dismember it, and then wear parts of its rotting carcass <laughs> as a sort of grim, meaty trophy. Right. God, it's a bloody fine line modern masculinity has to tread, isn't it? 